Ryan and Will, start me off. Pick any of the things on the front page and define it for me. So many choices. Okay. Good. So focal point is the point where light converges usually for a mirror or a lens is what we're usually talking about. Okay, so a focal point would look something like this. If I have a lens shaped like this, I have some focal point over here, and the light comes in and it gets focused at that point. So it's the point where the light converges to a specific place. That's called the focal length. It's specifically for um, light that's really, really far away. So if I take light that's really close, it'll act differently. But light that's really far away, that's what we're looking at here for a focal point. Okay. Um, next table, Eric Chase, what you got for me? Um, okay, well, I will do refraction. Okay, refraction. Oblique. Okay. Bending of. Oblique just means um, large, large rays. Um, it has to do with uh, geometry stuff. But if you just focus on bending of light, I'm okay with that. If that's your definition, it's the bending of light. So um, I should be a little more specific though. It's bending of light when passing through a medium. So what happens is light goes and it travels into something new and then it bends. And that's what this is down here. This is an example of refraction. So light that goes into, in this case, a lens, which is a different material, it's glass or acrylic or something like that, and it bends because of that. So that's what refraction is. It's a bending of light when it passes through something. Okay? Good. All right, Lucian, what you got for me? Pick one of these for me to define for me. Good. So uh, it's an image formed by light converging on a real point in space. So a real image is where something forms at an actual place in space. So right here, this would be a real image because the light is actually forming there, like that spot. That's where the light is. So that's a real image. This right here, the screen, the projection, that's a real image. The light is actually showing up here on the screen. Okay, that's where the light is converging. So it's a real image is when light forms at a real place in space. There's an actual point where you can touch and be like, the light's here. That's a real image. Okay, good. Logan, what about something else? Convex is like near the curves out. Yeah, so convex curves away from the object. So convex curves away. So if here's my object, it's an arrow, convex bends away from that. 
So that would be convex. Bending away is convex. Okay. Kate and Gabe, what about something else? Yeah. Yeah. So it's light that appears to originate from a location light can't reach. Okay, so if here's a mirror, and here's your eyeball, there's your eyeball, okay, and the light is coming to make an image of an arrow, okay, and the light's coming to your eye from there and to your eye from here. It looks like the light comes from behind the mirror, but it can't actually come from behind the mirror because it doesn't exist back there. There is no light behind the mirror. So where's the light coming from? Light's coming from over here. So the light's really coming from over here, but it looks like it's coming from over here. So that's a virtual image. It doesn't really exist. It looks like it exists. It feels like it exists. It should exist. It doesn't exist. Okay? That's a virtual image. When you look at yourself in the mirror, that's a virtual image. Okay? It looks like you're in the mirror. You're really not in the mirror. Yeah. So are all reflections virtual images? No. Um, So if you look at yourself in a spoon, if you look on one side of the spoon, you can see yourself like normally in the spoon. It just looks like, oh, I'm looking at myself in a mirror. It's just in the side of the spoon. If you flip the spoon over to the other curved side, you see like a fuzzy shape of yourself. And it's kind of like on the spoon, but it's kind of not on the spoon. That's a virtual image, or that's a real image. So it looks, if it looks kind of funky, a lot of times it's a vir it's a real image. Virtual images are always in the mirror and look pretty clear. Virtual image, real images, you have to be at the right spot to see them. So if you hold it up really close to your eyeball, you can see yourself, and that's the real image. Yeah. How did you figure that out? How did I figure it's that? Like eating breakfast, and you're like, yeah. Um, I mean, kind of. <laughs> like, like. Yes, there was a time where I was sitting and be like, oh, real images. Yeah. <laughs> Me, you haven't done that? That, that didn't happen to you? That's, and that's why you always need a spoon at school, just in case you need to uh, talk about. See, because here's like, this would be the side that's the real image, so you can see it's pretty clear. And this would be, or the virtual image. And this side, you can see it's a little fuzzier and hard to make out exactly where the light is forming. That's because it's forming like out here somewhere in a real place in space. So that's a real image. Never thought I'd get my spoon on camera, but there you go. Okay, um, let's see who we got now. Damon and Wyatt. Wyatt. Um, converging lens and mirror. Okay. Uh, a lens that is thicker in the middle and thinner on the edges that uh, refracts parallel rays of light Good. So converging mirrors and lenses focus light together. So they bring light closer together to a focal point. So they converge, so bring light together to a focal point. OK. 
Okay? And in my apparent mission to make all kinds of lines on my paper, this example up here, that's a converging, that would be a converging lens. Converging mirrors would do the same thing. They focus the light together. So that'd be converging. Okay. Uh, Mark and Ben, give me another one. We have not done concave yet. <laughs> yes, indeed. And that's an easy way to remember it. It caves in on the object. So it curves towards the object. So if here's my object, it curves this way. It caves in on it. Okay, good. Brayden, give me another one. Uh, diverging lens. Yep. The lens is thinner in the center and thicker on the outside. Yeah. So this one is going to spread the light away. It spreads the light away. So instead of bringing the light together to a focal point, it's going to spread the light away from a focal point. Except not really. Okay, that one's going to be something like this. So the light comes in and goes away. All right, we'll do the back page next time. See you all. See ya. Reflection, the last one here, is light bouncing off of a surface. So reflection would be something like this. Light comes in and bounces off of the surface. Um, it's going to go again. It's going to have to do with a focal point. There'll be a little bit of time to finish up. He's gonna ask my answer, but I'm not gonna get it.